leadership. Napoleon once said, one bad general does better than two good ones. It takes a moment for the sense of this to register, but it is the same as our modern saying that too many cooks spoil the broth. Having one set of instructions, even if they are flawed, is preferable to having two sets of perfect directions that, when enacted together without references to each other, causes havoc. This is the principle of leadership in a nutshell. It's all about maintaining focus and creating positive outcomes. The same can be applied to individuals who strive to become leaders. There needs to be focus and determination. Advice can be given but does not have to be heeded. History is full of leaders whose beginnings were disastrous and had they listed to the naysayers of this world, the world would be a poorer place today. Leadership can be learned. So when we say skill, it can be developed. Some people are certainly born with leadership skills, but this is not a prerequisite for becoming a leader. More important is the dedication to the art of leadership. Leadership involves understanding how to inspire, influence and control how people behave. It is not a simple matter of shouting or having a deep and booming voice or being great in physical stature. Gandhi possessed none of these attributes but managed to lead a nation and inspire millions around the world. Sometimes leadership may be no more than having a poignant message for a receptive audience at an up opportunate moment. Leadership is neither good nor bad. The world has known more than its fair share of evil and charismatic dictators. In the world of business, the perception of leadership has changed from its early days when it largely mirrored the mil military models of leadership from the top down with powerful individuals dominating large groups of less powerful people. Nowadays, leadership in business is for more knowledge driven. The lowliest, lowliest employee may end up effectively leading the direction of a vast corporation through his or her innovative ideas. Anyone with critical knowledge can show leadership. This is known as thought leadership. In other contexts, leadership can be about talking a stand for what you believe in and trying to convince people to think and act differently. Leadership has been variously described as the process of social influence in which one person can enlist the aid and support of others in the accomplishment of a common task. Creating a way for people to contribute to making something extraordinary happen. The ability to successfully integrate and maximize available resources within the internal and external environment for the attainment of organizational or social goals and the capacity of leaders to listen and observe to use their expertise as a starting point to encourage dialogue between all levels of decision making, to establish processes and transparency in decision making to articulate their own values and visions clearly, but not to impose them. Leadership is about setting and not just reacting to agendas, identifying problems and initiating change that make for substantive improvement rather than managing change. There is truth to all the definitions, but all apply to the ideals of leadership. So, leadership. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Leadership Napoleon once said, one bad general does better than two good ones. It takes a moment for the sense of this to register, but it is the same as our modern saying that too many cooks.